Good morning, New 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, please hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 4,000 strong, 4,000 soldiers, 4,000 in the V-Chain community. Thank you so much. Let me give a shout out to my wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ, Sean D, Brett Garlic House, Lassie Nielsen, Sergio, The Fern Line, Mac Harris, and Jeffrey. Thank you so much for your wonderful support. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Looking at the 24-hour chart, we are down 3.4% on the day. Um, you know, Bitcoin is doing its thing. Yeah, Bitcoin dips. Altcoins follow. Um, <clears throat> not really going to spend too much time here looking at the charts today, so we're going to move on. Shout out to Ron Dalton. Um... Please give him a follow. He says, Rise and Shine, VFAM, DeFi, left many folks wrecked. VET did fairly well in comparison with many other coins. Now at 0 0.013. VTHO burning was sensational yesterday. Burning 10.78 million VTHO. Holy crap. Like, for now it's a one-off. Hopefully we can see more soon. Today we started off with 1 million. So we're burning more VTHO. Um... Each and every day the blockchain is being used and each and every week we get some type of news that <clears throat> some country, some organization, um, some multinational Fortune 500 business is using the VeChain Thor blockchain in some capacity. We see the increase in Vito burn, um, you know, that's why uh, these price movements yeah, they don't phase me anymore. Um, took all emotion out of V chain, all emotion, and now you know we're just stacking, waiting, keeping them accountable. And we're enjoying our lives. Remember, guys, <laughs> crypto is only one part of your life. Um, you know, sometimes, especially when markets flash crash like they did yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, there might be a lot of throat clearing. I woke up and, you know, I live in the part of the United States where the air quality is the worst in the world, even worse than, you know, some third world countries. So you're going to have to bear with me today. Um, so especially when, you know, prices are going down or going sideways, sometimes you might need a break. You know what I'm saying? Don't check the portfolio. Don't check CoinGecko. You know, go out with your friends, hang out, you know, have some beers. The market will be there tomorrow. OK. For example, Sunday, I know I did a video Sunday, but it was a little bit sad because I root for a absolutely terrible football team, the New York Jets. So I know a thing or two about waiting. I know a thing or two about patience. <laughs> Let's just hope that, you know, crypto is a lot better than my football team. Anyway, the point is, <clears throat> in the pursuit of getting rich, in the pursuit of building generational wealth by investing, you guys have to remember to enjoy your life, okay? Hang out, take a break, unplug. The Marcus will be here tomorrow, okay? So if this is stressing you out, giving you hemorrhoids, giving you ulcers, you know, you can't sleep, you can't think about anything else, but crypto prices, just take a step back, you'll be fine. Moving on. <clears throat> In other bullish news today, guys, VeChain Thor blockchain just passed 300,000 transactions today. The most recent baseline has been about uh, 140,000 transactions per day. Again, I'm sorry for all the throat clearing and the sniffling. Um, <clears throat> dips are strong buys, in my opinion. I would agree. Nothing has changed with me. I'm still stacking V chain, chilling, kicking back, seeing what the market's looking like. Um, you know. 
nothing's changed. We keep seeing more and more adoption. We keep seeing more and more companies being onboarded. And uh, that's my baseline now. So, <clears throat> shout out to Eisenreich with these amazing finds, guys. This guy here is, you know, <laughs> he's like a, I don't even know what you call those people, a scholar, a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, V-Chain, vaccine tracking, minimizing risk of poor quality pharmaceutical circulation. This paper he found published on September 14th, 2020, so just a couple of days ago. The V-Chain traceability solution is being developed and tested in Shanghai and will be soon deployed throughout China. And in the little blurb down here, <clears throat> excuse me again, V-Chain is the Peru supplier of distributed ledger technology-based traceability systems in Shanghai, was given a test to implement traceability requirements in China by 2020. The V-Chain traceability solution is being developed and tested in Shanghai and will soon be deployed throughout China. In accordance with the V-Chain system to track drugs and vaccines, highly sensitive IoT devices to collect and store the data in distributed ledger V-Chain Thor, all data is connected with the production and transportation of vaccines, including vaccines from manufacturers, warehouses, uh, V-Chain cold chain, as well as um, hospitals, even for medical use of drugs, ensuring the reliability of data source. V-Chain also eliminates potential risks throughout the process that ensures about records about vaccines are unchanging and permanent. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't even have a monologue for that. But, you know, that's amazing. Uh, V-Chain cold chain is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, things that need to be frozen or kept at a certain ten temperature if they ever cross a certain threshold that is marked on the blockchain so like let's just say <clears throat> a company is transporting beef like tyson tyson foods uh they're transporting their chicken and uh and and recording it on the v chain thor blockchain so let's just say one of their chicken trucks is transporting chicken from you know china to i don't know some part of europe and the temperature of the chicken, you know, gets too hot, you know, by a couple degrees. Well, that is tracked on the blockchain and that can't be changed. So then that gives, you know, the buyer, uh, 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 you know, it's just more information about, you know, what's going on with the chicken, what's going on with their products as a whole. So uh, V-Chain cold chain is actually pretty cool and that's going to be definitely be a boon for vaccines because you need to keep the vaccines at a certain certain temperature that with many other uh features of the v-chain thor blockchain um you know <laughs> at the end of the day uh, adoptions here i know i say it every day i know the price doesn't reflect it but you know <laughs> If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. So, yeah. Moving on. <clears throat> we got another producer's market um, sign up here. So, this is awesome. Elris. Excuse me. El Iris. El Iris. I like the name. Uh, it is a Greece, a Greek individual family-owned business established in 1974, founded by our late Iris late founded by our Iris late father, Eprudes. Whoa, I don't even know how to say that. That sounds like one of those Iliad names. I mean, I like it. In 1974, the estate was chosen for a stunning position in the foothills of the Minico Mountains, and specifically for its Perfect growing conditions for olive and nut trees. His passion for good food and nature led him to plant the estate with olive, almond, fig, walnut, many fruit trees such as peach, pear, apple, pomegranate, and cherry. <clears throat> On 
Although the region was renowned for its fine wine, it was not known for olives at the time. The Prudies dared to experiment with the with and well, the Prudies dared to experiment and planted a diverse range of olives varieties from the four corners of Greece to see how each variety would develop. If only he was alive today to see what his vision was to become and see how all the varieties have flourished. Mission statement. Merkai. What the heck is that? Merkai. To do something with your soul, creativity, or love. To put something of yourself into your work. Interesting. Let's take a look at some of their, their farm and their products. So... Looks like the owners of the farm there. Nice packaging indeed. Organic olive oil. Oh man, these these farms, man, on the, in these countries, they're so beautiful. You know. Italy, Spain, all the places I've never been to. But if you want me to go visit, go ahead and donate to my Patreon so I can get out of wage slavery and start, you know, traveling and living life how it's supposed to be lived. Go ahead and donate right now for me. Appreciate you. Yeah, so that's uh, Elris Farm. Um, pretty awesome. Produce of the market. Still on that bag. They on that bag chase right now, man. Not letting fun. Not letting, you know. BS stop them. They just keep on adding people. You know, V Chain just keeps on trucking, keeps on producing data. The MVGL keeps verifying, and you know the train keeps moving. And with that train keeps moving, I'm gonna keep moving. Got some Ocean X news. Bullish o Ocean X news. Ocean X is gonna list Ave Lind and USDT pair. And Lend and BTC pair on OceanX. Ave Protocol is a decentralized open source non custodial money market protocol, and trading will be available um, on September 25th at 11 UTC. So, Ave Lend, you know, I've been talking about DeFi for a while. I might make a video on some of my favorite DeFi platforms, but. The risk with that is that a lot of these things are super risky, and I don't want to tell you guys about it. You guys FOMO in, and then, you know, a smart contract bug happens, and you lose all your money. So I'm going to sit on the sword for it. I'm going to, you know, take all the risk, and, you know, like like something about, like, Yearn, Yearn.Finance. Before I knew anything about it, I used to trash it, but now I use it, um... I did get listed on Coinbase, so that gives it some sort of legitimacy, you know, but but the project's still in beta, so, you know, I'm not going to hang my hat too much on that. Um, I've been providing liquidity to some uh, pools on some decentralized finances, so, you know, I'm learning a lot, and uh, if once things, you know, calm down, and we get to the dog days of DeFi when things are boring and, you know, not a whole lot of people are talking about it. Then, you know, I'll uh, I'll probably make a video or two just talking about some of the DeFi stuff that I've been in. Uh, I have not used Ave yet, but, you know, I'm going to look into it a little bit more uh, as I expand my knowledge. Um and, you know, I have lost some money in DeFi. I've lost actually a lot of money in DeFi. Uh, but that was due to my own fault um, and, and high gas fees. But, you know, instead of, you know, crying and being a little uh, bitch about it, I just, uh, you know, use it as tuition, use it as knowledge. Um, you know, I've lost over 1500 bucks <laughs> in the past month on DeFi. Um, so instead of, you know, running to my mama or running to my favorite YouTuber to leave a nasty comments, I'm learning, I am, um, you know, enjoying the process and if I stick with it, you know, hopefully we can make a lot of money. So 
Um, with that being said, Ocean X lists Ave. So, this is great news. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, the uh, blockchain convention, the European blockchain convention is wrapping up. Um, Sunny Lou already presented, I believe. Um, but the link to the uh, conference is here. It looks like they just finished up. I don't know too much about Twitch. I don't know if you can like go back. Uh, if you can, I will leave this link in the description below. I don't think that there is a uh, way to like rebroadcast re the stream. Maybe it might be processing kind of like YouTube, but uh, just in case there is a way to do it, I will go ahead and leave that link in the description below so you guys can check out uh, Sunny Lou. Uh, but then again, once if you've seen one Sunny Lou interview, you've seen them all because you know his job is to market to other companies. His job is to say, here's what we do, here's how this can help you, um, and do you want to hop on board? That's that's his job as a CEO. Um, is onboarding businesses, you know, and overseeing his management team. So, um, again, for people who want to see it, definitely we'll leave the link in the description below. All right, guys, I've been blabbling so much for the past 17 minutes. Thank you, though, for listening to me. I really appreciate it. Um... I missed you guys yesterday. Sorry I did not make a video. Um, but I'm back. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. My uh, throat is killing me. So let's wrap things up. I'd like to give a wonderful shout out to my wonderful Patreon subscribers AJ, Sean D, Brett Garlic House, Lassie Nielsen, Sergio, The Fern Line, Mac Harris, and Jeffrey. Thank you again. 13, 22, 22 hours, 42 minutes, and 45 seconds to the next Bitcoin block having. Uh, guys, please hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 4,000 strong, 4,000 soldiers. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button for me, too. It really helps out the channel, pushes the videos up higher on the algorithm. Um, Take a look at the markets here, guys. Bitcoin is just doing the dash on us right now. I mean... Yesterday, we were doing fine. Everything was going good. And then, you know, it slammed back down to 10-4. Um, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Bitcoin is going to do what Bitcoin wants to do. Ethereum is coming down as well. But gas prices are still freaking insane. I don't know how they've gotten that, that bad, but they are. It is what it is. Let's take a look at the major pumps. Looks like Avalanche is pumping and Phantom. I've never heard of any of those. So, looks like maybe Avalanche is probably a new token. Um, maybe a DeFi token of some sorts. Oh, well, it's trading on uh, Binance, so maybe not. <clears throat> Let's take a look at any dumps, and then uh, we will... Talk to you tom tomorrow. So it looks like Uniswap. Oh, if you guys have ever used Uniswap in the past, uh, you can are eligible for a uh, $400 Uniswap, 400 Unis token airdrop. Um, so just make sure you claim that. Um, that's anybody who's used Uniswap. You get 400 Uni tokens. And when it first dropped, those Uni tokens were like 10 bucks. <laughs> in bucks <laughs> so some people got like four grand like it was insane uh so go ahead and claim those all you need to do is go to uniswap collect connect your wallet and then there should be like a little button there that says claim your uni tokens and it goes right into your wallet you can do whatever you want with them i've sold all mines but like i said i'm liquidity mining mine providing liquidity and getting these so i i get these unit tokens for free anyway so it's not really a big deal to me um but if you're interested in that go ahead and make sure you claim your uni tokens as free money literally free money 
Um, and it's not a scam. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening to me blab. I missed you guys so much. Sorry I didn't do a video yesterday. Uh, but I will be coming at you tomorrow. Thank you. Don't let your memes be dreams, guys. And enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your day, guys. Your Tuesday. Sorry. Not Monday. Enjoy it. Go out. Hang out with your friends. Put a smile on your face. Go to work. You know, it's a beautiful day. You're alive. You're awake. You're alert. You're enthusiastic. So let's get it.